What? Yes. How they feel? Yes. Hey, <laughs> we, now we have a set. We're excited. <laughs> you know? No, it, it's it's. Ex I mean, we're ecstatic. Obviously, um, you know we. We kept worrying about Oregon putting something together, and my gosh, they just did a fantastic job of, you know, inspiring us to try to you know, stay a step ahead. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, the kids continue to rise to the challenge. And it came down to Dom winning the the five thousand free guys to kind of lock it up. But when you have a closer like that, you, you can't go wrong, right? Right. And the same thing happened indoors when we won. That she was in the three thousand. We still had the mile relay that we thought was pretty potent, and. Uh, you know, she took care of business and, and put the lock down, and then the Ma really took the pressure off them. Hey, just run and enjoy the experience. And the same thing kind of happened today. When you go into the meet, was the point total that you scored today, was that about what you expected? Was no, it higher? No, no. Maybe I'm too conservative, but I thought it would take high 50s, maybe 60 to win. And obviously, Oregon threw that up. Uh, we were able to get 70 of I mean, 70 was beyond our wildest dreams. Yeah. What does it mean to you, you know, Dom, she's graduating now after five years. Yeah. You know, what does it mean, just her career and her league? Well, she's, she's been fantastic. What a lot of people don't understand is where she started, you know, she it was a dream for her to come to this meet. And now to evolve to be a double champion is, uh, you know, it's just been a very consistent progression. And uh, we had to change a lot of things in her running uh, style. Um, she was kind of a shuffler. And, uh, you know, obviously now she's not. And, uh, you know, her speed has increased tremendously. But she's always had the desire and the heart of a champion to want to wanna be good. It's just, you know, there was things that needed to be changed. And she was willing to be patient enough to allow those to happen. And yesterday, um, Florida got some really great points from uh, Keandre Bates in that triple jump that really swung them to a title. Yes. Back on Thursday, Talia Brooks really yes. came up big for you guys in a long yes. jump. How big was that for her to come that, that moment? That was huge. I mean, we took the risk of letting her double with the hep, you know, still in the finale. Um, and we were hoping that she could hold together. And unfortunately, it started, uh, her knee started bothering her. So we went safe and tried to protect her for the Olympic trials and so on. And, uh, but I mean, you know, that was a fifth or sixth jump where she popped that to, to move from seventh to, to third. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, she's the consummate competitor and she'll compete in anything. If you put her on the mile relay, you know, she might balk if we put her in the 1500, but uh, the rest of the time, uh, you know, she's, uh, how can I help the team? When you won your indoor titles on home turf, now you're doing it in enemy territory. Was it, uh, do you feel like it was a disadvantage to be competing in Oregon? And, you know, do you, how, I don't think it's. I don't think it's at a disadvantage as much as Oregon always rises at home. Um, whatever they've done, whatever they've done in the past during the course of the season, that's just one set of bars that you, they they meet to, and then they surpass it every time. Um, you know, the the one to finish in the two hundred. Um, you know, to win the hundred. I mean, they were just time after time after time. And and if they had everybody healthy, I, I think. They could have scored 90 points. So uh, you know they have the they have the team that maybe nobody can match. Uh, it's just on a given day or a given two days can you hold out? And uh, you know we were able to be uh, a little healthier than than they did. Is there a specific place you think NCAs could be other than the crowd? Well, I think there are some really nice facilities. Uh, we're, we're very proud of ours. Um, Texas a and is building a brand new facility. Um, you know, the University of Texas has a beautiful facility. So I think, yeah, there's there's definitely some facilities out there across the nation that uh, could host a, a great national championship. Can they get the crowd year in, year out? Uh, that remains to be seen. How big is that? It's a nice town, Tom. How did you feel after the first day? I think that's kind of what they're It surpassed my form chart. I thought we were way ahead of schedule. It was just a matter of could we you know, hold on and shoot for some high 50s, low 60s. And then, uh, you know, that, that gave us a little uh, more confidence, a little more momentum that, uh, hey, if we take care of business today, you know, we could we could possibly get near 70. In fact, when the first time Flow Track put it down, they thought we were going to score 71 points. I was like, these people are crazy. They have no idea. Well, you guys were right.
Yeah. How nice was it to have Dominique in, in your hip pocket after they searched out? <laughs> She's a pretty special athlete. And, you know, we have a couple of go-to people. Um, you know, Taylor Ellis Watson. I mean, she's just, you know, a fantastic competitor and, you know, a, a national, international caliber athlete herself. Um, obviously, Dom, um, our little pole vaulter, even though she's a freshman, we don't ever want to address that she has to do something, but uh, she always rises to the. And then uh, we have a group of steeplechasers that did a nice job today. So That had to have been huge having Jessica do that well. Yeah, I mean, I thought. In fact, on my form chart, I thought if we got five points in the in the steeple, we'd be you know right on schedule. And to get twelve, I and mean, that's beyond luxury. So uh, she just did a fantastic job and, and and had no fear. And then the little freshman, we've always had the philosophy: just stay as close as you possibly can. So she apologized when she got off the track, going, "I I didn't stay as close as I should have." Like, now you're fine. <laughs> Wrote the junior American record again. Oh, okay. Do you, do you handle Dom's training day to day? Are you like a her? Are you yes. Dom's event coach? Um, how do you handle an athlete who maybe has like bigger ambitions, you know, through the summer and the distances, but you know, you need her for an NCAA title? She always keeps everything in perspective, and she's very team oriented. Uh, she's the one that's cheering. I mean, when she's running the ten thousand, she's cheering for the pole vaulters to do well. Yeah. Now. Fortunately, the pace was comfortable enough she could do that. And then Talia's on the other side doing the long jump, and she's doing the same thing there. And they're going back and forth, you know, cheering for each other as she went through 30 minutes of uh, exercise. <laughs> in, in context, 